Bunch of questions, Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. That's right, man. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, the one who is rooting for you. Come on. The one who is, who, who is hyped up, man, because I want to see you just be great, not only in this game, but also in life. I'm going to keep saying it until you are living it out, man. That is my job. I'm going to keep doing it. Listen, I am back again to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you guys be the best Fortnite player you can be. Healing, we can't live without it. And we definitely won't see any victory royales if we don't know how to maintain health. If you've been keeping up with Chapter 3, then you probably have some time to try out some of the latest new additions to the item pool. Boy, man, they are exciting. So now you probably want to know the best ways to take advantage of the new healing meta so you can live longer and make yourself a harder opponent to topple over. Luckily, hey, we got your back. And today we're going to dive deep into one of Fortnite's most insane healing metas to date. You guys ready for this? Well, let's get that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. All right, so with Fortnite Chapter 3, we are seeing a complete overhaul to how healing works and how to use it all to our advantage. Overall, healing is important for you guys to really keep track of. Okay, so if your health is too low, then you stand really no chance against enemy players. So the fuller it is, the better you're going to be for, especially when you're in the late game and you have very little time to stand still for the moment and heal. Okay, so if you thought floppers were a fantastic addition to the meta back when Chapter 2 first started, then, oh my goodness, are you ready for a treat or not, man? Uh, so with the new items, it's our job to really teach you how to use them. This new meta gives you more mobility and more opportunities than ever before to make sure that you're fighting fit. So let's start with one of the season's most popular items. Med Mitts is one of the brand new healing items introduced in the new chapter, and man oh man, does it change the game for healing while fighting. In fact, you know, it really changes the game in a lot of different ways. Like, it's versatile, it can heal you completely, it even allows you to play medic when you're teaming up with others. So let's get down to the juicy details. All right, Med Mist has 150 charge, which means that you can keep using it to heal 150 health in total. And in total, it takes about 30 seconds of consecutive use to completely empty a can. This means that it heals about 50 health every 10 seconds and so one of the benefits of using the med mist is that you can heal while moving yeah i just said it man whether you're running crouching sliding or even jumping med mist allows you to heal on the go and is perfect item when you need to patch yourself up but don't just want to be stuck in a spot for more than a few seconds and so this is a very vast improvement from just waiting 10 seconds to apply med kit in fact it might actually be more economical as well med mist also has no cap to its healing benefit while the bandage can heal you up to 75 and the med kit can heal you uh all the way i mean it's just nice to see an item that can go over that limit that is not a flopper this is a course results in a much more precise method of healing where you can patch up wounds and control how much healing remains in the camp. You know, because the med mist heals at five health per click, it's the perfect item to heal yourself when you've taken a small amount of damage, but don't want to waste a med kit or a flopper healing yourself past the 75 mark. All right, let's just be real. Like if your health is at 85, wasting a flopper would be pointless. However, you also don't want to just run around missing health either. That tiny fraction can be the deciding point on whether or not you survive the next fight you get into. So you want yourself at full green all the time. However, like the good old saying, you know, sharing is caring. <laughs> and so if you've been playing solo, then you might not have noticed, but you can also aim the med miss. That is right. You can spray your squad mates to heal them. This also works for healing hired guns as well. Just be careful, guys, where you aim that thing, all right? Because it also heal your enemies too if you use it on them, and that'll be great for them and not so good for you. You know, it seems like everything this season revolves around teamwork, so why not click the link below and visit proguys.com so you can become a team player. There you can look through a variety of different coaches that can help you reach that untapped potential whether you're a noob or between a few new tournaments already you know listen you're guaranteed to see improved performance you know, Guzzle Juice is another brand new item added to the Fortnite healing meta. This item was going to heal you at 2 HP per second until you're completely maxed at 100 health. All right, so the only catch, you can't take damage or the effects are going to stop. Yeah, that's right. Getting hit is going to stop the healing effect right in its tracks. So if you're thinking of using this item to gradually heal yourself in the storm, then you might want to just, uh, yeah, think about that for a second. Unfortunately, the damage from the storm will cancel out the healing effect. Yeah. And so uh, let me say this. If there is one good thing that, you know, fall damage will not stop the item from healing you. So if you need to make a jump and take the fall damage, Guzzle Juice can actually still heal you and have you covered. Guzzle Juice is really best used for when you want to rotate from one location to the next, but don't want to spend those extra seconds patching yourself up. After all, like, you know, you have a storm to get away from and you need to loot fast. This is also going to be when you least likely encounter opponents. So, you know, you should definitely be able to heal from the Guzzle Juice without interruption, or at least most of the time. You know, while Guzzle Juice can heal you from like 2 HP, 
to 100 in about like 49 seconds. We don't recommend that you substitute the guzzle juice for a proper med kit. So if you're in that critical health stage, then it's just really better to use another healing item first before, you know, topping it off with the guzzle. While the guzzle works on healing your health, use the extra second save to really patch up your shields, which by the way, just so happens to be the subject of the next item on our list. Now, with so many ways to heal your health, one has to really ask this, like, how do we get those shields up? Well, let me just introduce you guys to the latest and the cutting edge technology, the shield keg. Ooh, this nifty item is the perfect addition to any party. Like, if you thought Chug Splash helped you guys out tremendously, then just wait and you see what the keg is going to do. All right, so place it on the ground and it's going to spray that delicious chug around its radius. This is going to help fill up shields to all the players nearby. This is an absolute beast for team modes since it means players are going to see this item and you're going to be able to have an extra set of defenses against attacking players. So if you see a team using this, then you need to pre-prepare to really push them for all it's worth. This is not going to be an easy fight though. Like this item can be stacked in your inventory and you can really carry two per slot. However, beware when using this item. It'll also heal any enemies that get too close so you need to make sure that you keep them at a distance and on the other hand if you can push your enemies around then you can just try claiming the chug for yourself and using it as a quick boost to your own shields now with so many new additions the game options are a dime a dozen that doesn't mean there aren't you know some familiar faces around either like chili chug splash is back once again carrying over from the last season you can find these in the llamas so you just better get ready to really chase them down if you want it chili chug splash is an exotic item that acts like the normal chug splash however it has a few extra perks that make it a must-have for competitive play for starters along with the boost of health or shields depending on like where you're at in health chili chug splash will also give you guys the chili pepper effect this can be great for swimming fast faster or just moving across the terrain quicker. You know, it's also a perfect buff when you need to make that quick retake or even confuse your opponent by taking them from all sides. Chili Chuck Splash will also affect, you know, any of your nearby teammates. So, you know, definitely huddle together and you're all gonna benefit. Now, while this item may be harder to find compared to other healing items, there are some guaranteed spots where you can collect them. So if you don't have the gold and you want to go, you know, the llama route, then you're gonna be pleased to know that there is a guaranteed llama spawn across the lake from Logjam Lumberyard. All right, so this llama will always be there, just chilling at the barn. As long as you have the bullets and the time to bring it down, you're going to be rewarded not just by the Chili Chuck Splash, but also with Max Max. To learn more about these secret spots, to load up on top tier items, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com. The coaches there are going to help you get competition ready. So, you know, you can really put up a good fight, get the best loot, and really just take over your enemies. All right, tents are yet another healing item added this season. We're not gonna go into extreme details since tents have been vaulted for arena. However, let's do a quick run through anyway, just for those of you who are interested. Tents are great for storing loot. However, healing wise, they do so at five health per second and can fit you and your entire squad inside. Tents don't have any limit to how much you could do. But your question, me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, man, I am Keith Allen, and I'm here to motivate you to be great. Hey, if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hey, spread the word because we got so much more amazing content coming out. Hey, stay encouraged, stay positive. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.